Welcome to our Scribe Insight mini presentation showcasing robust data integration between the Microsoft Dynamics GP on-premise ERP solution and Salesforce.com the cloud-based CRM solution. Although there are many use case scenarios which Scribe Insight may be used for, this focused data integration will present how Scribe Insight can easily and transparently integrate your CRM sales orders with your back office ERP system. Let's begin by creating an account opportunity within Salesforce.com. Here we see all our current available accounts within our Salesforce deployment, and we're going to go ahead and use Aaron Fitz Electrical as our account for today. So what we need to do is go into the account, and let's go ahead and create a new opportunity. With this presented page, we need to fill in the required fields. Let's give it an opportunity name of AFE1234. And we'll give it an opportunity type of upgrade. The amount for this opportunity, we'll go ahead and put in $150. We expect to close this by end of business today. And the stage of this opportunity is going to be closed one. With all that information in place, let's go ahead and save and add product. But before we can do that, we need to identify the price book. Here you can see the default retail price book is shown. However, we do have other options here, and these options actually have been synchronized with our back office Dynamics GP application. So we'll go ahead and use Retail. And now we're presented with our product catalog. So here we're going to go ahead and scroll down, and we're going to choose the 15-inch monitor. Add that to our opportunity. Give it a quantity of 1. And now we can see the Opportunity Details section. Scroll down further, we can see there's the 15-inch monitor that we had just created. So now if you note, right here, there is a custom link called Create and Submit Sales Order. This is a custom functionality that Scribe Software has developed and made available up on the App Exchange as a free download. And what this allows you to do is not only manage your opportunities within Salesforce, but be able to convert those opportunities into sales orders and manage those uniquely. So let's go through that process. We're going to create and submit this as a sales order. We are presented with another screen here where we can maybe make some final changes before the sales order is, is created. So here I could certainly put in a discount amount or add maybe some freight amount, but we're going to hold off and do that within our back office Dynamics GP application. So let's go ahead and submit this. And you'll now note that the screen will change from an opportunity tab to a sales order tab creating that opportunity or creating that new sales order for you. So here's the sales order detail here at the top. We scroll down a little bit further. Here's all the demographic information about Aaron Fitz Electrical. Uh, scrolling down a little bit further, further, we can see the status of this order, as well as the item that we had added initially within that opportunity. Now, sitting here in Salesforce.com, I may not really know where my order is at, other than I had submitted it to the back office. However, what Scribe Software has done via the integration processes is been, was able to put in a status uh, piece of functionality within the product so as to bring that status, once it enters in your back office ERP, uh, back up into Serum to keep that sales rep informed of exactly where that sales order is at. So all that sales rep needs to do is just go ahead and initiate the uh, F5 key to refresh the page, and you'll see that submit pending status code change into submitted. So now this order is back in our uh, Dynamics GP application. Let's go ahead into GP, and let's take a quick look at that order. So we're going to go ahead and drill down under Sales Transaction Entry, and we want to be at Order Type. Let's take a quick look. We're going to sort by date, and see if we have a new order that has entered the system. And we can see here, there's one on 517. Let's go ahead and select it. Note up here the sales order header information of Aaron Fitz Electrical on today's date. And then the line item that we have just added within Salesforce is that 15-inch monitor, total $139.85, and at the bottom here tallied up with that same price. Now, I'll show the power of the uh, Scribe Insight application in terms of integrating data between these disparate applications. So let's go ahead and add another line item here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a scanner. So I'm just going to go into the product catalog knowing that the two are synchronized between GP and Salesforce. We're going to go ahead and add that scanner. 
So here you can see the scanner has been added. Going to put another $70, approximately $70 to the order. Our new total is $209.90. Now I need to add some freight. Before doing so, I need to override the shortage. Let's just go through that process. And go back in and add $24 and say 95 cents for freight. You'll note now that the tax engine kicks in. It adds another $1.75 to it. So our new total now is $236.60 here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and save this record, close this out, and let's go back into salesforce.com. Here is the status that we had initially left it in. We had submitted that order originally. There's the 15-inch monitor down here by itself. Let's go ahead and refresh the screen and see if that scanner has flowed back into Salesforce. So now you can see the scanner has been added. And if we scroll up to the top, under the sales order detail section, you can see there's that total, $236.60. There is the tax amount, $1.75. There's the freight that we had added, $24.95. And if you look way over here to the far left, there is the order number that was generated by the Dynamics GP application. And we've used that and substituted that arbitrary name, that AFE1234, that we originally created the opportunity with. We put this real number in here so as to keep the two systems in synchronization with each other. All right, let's jump back down into Dynamics GP. And what I'd like to do now is go back into that order and what we want to do here is let's go ahead and invoice that order. So with the order available to us here, we're going to go through the process of transferring this to an invoice. And now we'll take a look and see if we're successful here within Dynamics GP. And we did get a confirmation that we are successful. Let's go ahead and close this. Go back into Salesforce. And scroll down here. And there it was the uh, previous status code of submitted. Let's see if that has changed since we have just invoiced that Dynamics GP record. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and depress my F5 key to refresh the screen. And we now see that that status code has changed to invoice. So what you've just seen is an integration of a Salesforce opportunity that was converted into a sales order and then subsequently submitted automatically to our back office Dynamics GP ERP application for that invoicing process. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Scribe Insight and its ability to support process data integration between Microsoft Dynamics GP and Salesforce.com.